Hola. Good evening. How are you? How are you? I'm doing How excellent. You? How about you, Oli? How are I fine. <laughs> Great. Okay. I'm glad to see. You are a teacher. I am the teacher. Correct. Ah, very nice. I nice meet to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Let's see who else is here. Ah, we have a couple people. Okay. And let's, yes. And Edwin also. Okay. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Is this your first time with classes online? No, teacher. No. <laughs> no, it's not my first time. I in English Corporativo signs to around September 20, 2020, 2020. Okay. 2020. Oh, so last year. So yes. Ah, it's a, a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Okay, and do you like it, Elena? Yes, I like it very much. Sometimes for the hour is is some tired, but it's a I like I uh, yeah the practice is very important for me as I enjoy the class. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. And you, Oli? Um in six months in inglés corporativo okay six months that's good too yes a uh, principiante three okay that's excellent and imagine <laughs> pre, now it's pre-advanced yes so much <laughs> yeah <guess> so. <laughs> a, a lot of work a lot of work okay yeah yes okay. Good. All right. Perfect. So we have a lot of different things. Excellent. See? Yes. Okay. Edwin, is this your first time? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Edwin. Not. Come on, Edwin. No, it's not. I know only. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. Nice oh. to see you. I have a problem right here in the morning. It's raining hard, so I can hear you. Okay, okay, no problem, it's okay. Uh, but if you have- I'm here, I'm here. Okay, okay, good. Hello. Edwin and 10 years in the English and you will say, I like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, a long time too, together with Edwin. Yeah, sure Edwin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Roxana, Jacqueline, Elizabeth, is this your first time? Uh, for me, no, teacher. It's my fourth four time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I started with in the, uh, where is, where is, uh, intermediate module one, two, and three. And okay. in advance. <laughs> All right. Now. I was studying with you last year in intermediate module number two, but and in quarantine time. But after that, I couldn't, I couldn't attend my classes due to the schedule. So that's the reason today I, this schedule, I can attend this class. Okay, all right, Jacqueline, good. And Jacqueline, you studied with Inglés Corporativo or with me last year? I was studying with another teacher. It, okay. it was a girl. I don't okay. remember her name, but it was a girl. No problem, no problem. And for you, Elizabeth? For me, teacher, good night. Um, is for... for um, class and uh, I studied uh, English and in, in English corporativo 
um, until December. December. Um, uh, what do you say is 2020? 2020. Mm -hmm. Okay, 2020. Um, I, I. Ay, hace mucho tiempo que ya no hablo. It's okay. That's, don't worry. That's why we come to class, to practice. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. That's the purpose of the class, to help you guys. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, it's great to hear that then. So that means we have a couple of things. I don't, we're going to only explain, but you already have the idea. So let me just make sure that it's clear in case you have any questions okay so you everybody should be in this level this is the level of the class free advanced module one free advanced module one and we have five sections okay and we have two exams we have one exam after unit three which is the exam of unit one two and three and then we have another exam after unit five here and the exam is of unit one, two, three, four, and five. So the exam in unit three is the first three units, and the exam unit five is the five units. In order to advance to the next module, module two, you need to pass with a grade of 80. This is eight or more. You need to have 80 in your activities. What activities are the ones that I am talking about? Are these, the ones that have this box, are obligations to complete. These are the ones that are knowledge check. You must complete them to have a certificate or a diploma to pass to the next level, okay? These, these little pictures here are the ones with videos, with information. And the one with the book is the one with information about the objective. Are there any questions in this moment? I know question. No teacher, I don't have a question. I have a question. Yes, in okay. my in my platform appear two two I don't know how can I say appear um aparece dos veces. I can say that. Aparece dos veces el, el módulo, el curso. Okay. I don't know why. Mm, let me see. But it's not, but it's the same in, in, in but because I checked uh, uh, both, but I don't know if I, is, it is a mistake or not. I don't know. Maybe it's for a group, Roxana, it's a different group. Yes, the maybe it's a, uh, and you inscription in two groups. Mm -hmm. So it's like this, Roxana, Inglés preavanzado módulo uno, Inglés preavanzado módulo dos, uno, it's like this? Yeah. Okay, look at the here. Here it says started August 22nd. Here it says ended August 23rd. You need the one that says started August 22nd. I don't remember if I check this one, it is the same information. I, I uh -huh. don't remember. But also you're going to see this button. You're going to see resume course, resume course, oh, and you're going to see archived course. Not correct, the archived course is the one that says resume course. Mm -hmm. This is like, new. this is the idea for continue the course. That is it's correct as the 2022. Correct. It's August. Okay. August 22nd, 2021. Yes. Okay. Because that is the one that begin the course, not when finish the course. And teacher, I, I have a I have a question because I got I got troubles when I tried to sign up to this course. Because it says that my email it was wrong, and after tried to with capital letters and upper uppercase letters, it says that my account was temporarily locked 
and I couldn't enter to the on it in I couldn't and uh -huh, sing into the platform onto the platform. Okay, no problem, Jacqueline. Uh, it's necessary whenever you have problems, it's necessary to, for the technical problems like this, you need to write to Jonathan. And John uh, I already texted him and, and I sent him the, the screenshot about my, my issue. Okay, then perfect. Then Jonathan will answer you to probably tomorrow in order to try to solve the situation. I want to I want you to know this because I don't know if we are going to work on this platform and I couldn't I couldn't see any material so that's the reason why I, I, I wanted to tell you this. Thank you, Jackie. Yes, we are going to work in the platform. And what we do is I will take a picture of the screen and send it to the WhatsApp group. That way you have access to the information, but later you have to go back and do and complete the exercises for your grades. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome, Jackie. No problem. Okay. Any other questions or comments? What is your name? I My am name? in this class. I don't listen. Uh, no problem, no, Roxana. It's the same as is the same as Edwin. My name is Edwin. Edwin. Mm -hmm. okay. You are Tokayos. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> name six. <laughs> We have the same names, exactly. What do you say to Kayos in English? Names. Yes. Name, same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Names. Yes. Thanks, Jackie. But it's not same, it's sake. Let me write down on the chat. I learned this word, yes, and on Sunday. Huh? Namesake. Namesake. That's right. Oh, namesake. Thanks. It's the same. You're, you're welcome. We have the same name, but only with sake, namesake. Namesake. Mm -hmm. Okay, so good. So now that we understand, we have four weeks, 16 classes. The classes are from Monday through Thursday, Monday through Thursday. This week, no, because the class began on Tuesday. So this week is going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, okay? This week is a little different, but the other weeks, Monday through Thursday. Uh, Friday, we're gonna have a class? Yes, Friday we have a class. Remember, if you cannot come to the class, you can always watch the video later in YouTube. It's not a problem. The important is that you complete the platform. The important is the platform that is completed at a rate of 80%. This is the minimum. 80 in the activity, okay. 80 in the platform. If you okay. and you want to advance in the platform, no problem. If you don't have time and you say, no, 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 I advance in the class, it's okay. But the important is that you advance in the platform every day, every day. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Any other questions? No? All right, excellent. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and begin with our platform. It's beginning to rain here in my house, but hopefully we'll be able to listen clearly without any problems. Okay. Right now, we're going to learn a little bit about relative pronouns. Let's watch the video and then I will explain if there are any questions. But the main idea is the relative pronouns are these, the words like who or that. Who or that. Who we use for people, that we use for people or things. Okay, so who only one function, people. That two functions, people or things. Hello everyone. In this class, you learn how to describe the kind of people you like to hang around with. For example, I like friends who aren't too serious. You'll learn how to use the relative pronouns who or that. Now, let me get started by presenting the structure. We'll do a few examples 
And at the end of the class, I would like for you to practice by making your own examples. Let me talk about the first example that you see here, relative pronouns as subjects. So in essence, what we want to do in this class is we want to take two pieces of information. For example, I like guys. They aren't too serious. That's the second piece of information. And what we want to do is we want to combine these two pieces of information. And we do this by using the relative pronouns. We're either going to use who or that to combine those two pieces of information. So at the end, what the sentence is going to look like is, I like guys who are into serious. Or you could say, I like guys that are into serious. I'm going to write down those examples to make sure that we're understanding the process. The first example states, I like guys who are into serious. And what we do is, if you notice in gray up here, and I actually colored that in blue in the bottom, because that's what I want to focus on. Um, here, this statement here could vary, it could change to different things, right? Like you can say, I like guys, I like friends, okay? I like people. So that could vary, you could change that to whatever you want. You can have another phrase there, like, I uh, like to hang around people, I like to be with friends, etc. That phrase could change, not just necessarily I like guys. And then they aren't too serious. Um, in this case, I want you to notice that we're using adjectives. Okay, so what is he really trying to explain with all of this? What he's trying to explain is that we use this or that to combine two sentences. And the idea to combine the two sentences is to be more specific about the information, okay? How do we become more, more specific? We take the subject, the person, the guy, the girl, the woman, the job, anything that you're talking about, and we combine with the description, the adjective in the second part. Okay, starting to rain a little hard, but okay. So, we have the idea for when we describe the things, it's easier to understand, okay? So as an example, the man who has the same name as me uh, is, speaks English. Ah, now you know which man, because it's the one that is the same name as me. That's why we use it. We use for that to give specific information when we don't know the name of the person. Okay, so for example, we have here, I see we have six women, uh, but I don't know the name of the woman, but the woman who is wearing a baseball cap is very nice. The woman who is wearing a baseball cap, and then you say, ah, I identify the person. That is the function of the relative pronoun. Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. All right, good. Remember, who is for people? That is for people or things. Okay, who is for people? That is for people or things. Here we go. I think that's the main idea. That's the main idea of when we use it. Let me put us in groups and then I'll share. Okay. So what are we going to do now with our partners? Don't worry if you don't have the access, the partner can do it and share. We have seven sentences, right? Here we have seven sentences in 1.4. So in 1.4 with our partners, we want to look and select which is the correct sentence to complete or to complement this. So, are we ready? Okay, Monica, does your microphone work?
Sorry, can you hear? Can you okay. hear the no problem. I check to make sure the microphone works so that everybody can interact. Okay. So remember, 1.4, we are going to have, there are only a few sentences. So we're going to have four minutes to read and select. Four minutes to read and select with our partners. Hey, they met. You could connect. They met. Can you hear me? Dainer, can you hear or no? Okay, guys, welcome back. Were there any questions? Mom, teacher, but it's a very short time. <laughs> we <Yes>. don't finish. <laughs> um, because the idea is not for thing, Marin. The idea is to have it. Okay. 
So let's take a look. Let's try together to make sure that it's correct. And everybody is clear. Okay. So what is number one? I don't want to have a partner. Where can we stop? It is these people have. These people mm. are good leadership qualities. Yeah. In my in my case with Elizabeth, with Select, uh, I have I... nothing in common with this person. Okay. Okay. We are going to try this one because here is a partner. It's singular. Partner. Yeah. So we need to have a single the person. Answer. Yes. Okay. Here, number two. I'd like to meet people. I think it's uh, these people have a good sense of humor. Okay. These people have a good sense of humor. Okay. No problem. We don't worry, we try together, it's okay. I prefer a roommate. The roommate is the person you live with. It depends this person. The last one, teacher? The last one. The last one, yes. yes the last. Person is quiet and considerate. <laughs> okay, four. I don't like to. I don't like, I don't like to. It's this people. Which? It's this people are people warm, are and, sensitive. warm and, and sensitive. This. I think is no. I have nothing in common I with did. this person. Okay. We'll check. Let's remember here is people. I don't. It's, it's a plural. Are armed and sensitive. I don't feel comfortable. I don't. I don't. Not, I'm not yes, I don't feel comfortable. Okay, yes. let's try that. I don't feel comfortable. Number five. I want to discuss my problem with friends. Friends. These, these people friends are warm and sensitive. Warm and sensitive. Nadia, okay. I'd rather have a boss. Boss. Mm -hmm. I'd rather I have a boss. Have a... This person has good leadership, leadership, qualities. Good leadership qualities. Okay. And the last one, I prefer to have teachers. I have I don't not seen. These people are organized and intelligent. Yes. Okay. Yeah, these people. Let's try. Let's see. No. Hey, Yay. we have one mistake. You see, we use number one and not hey, no. the same. Wait. But the, the, the first one is, uh, the answer is, uh, I have nothing in common with this person. I think yes. I don't know why. Maybe. I don't feel it. Let's try maybe that. Uh -huh. maybe yeah, I'm moved. sticking the yes. selection. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. I think it moved when I when I took. Excellent. So as you can see here for 1.4, these are the answers to describe the person. So how do we make the sentence? For example, I don't want to have a partner who I have nothing in common with. Okay. Two, I like to meet people who have a good sense of humor. I use who or that and then the verb. I prefer a roommate that is quiet and considerate. Okay. What about number four? How can we do number four? 
I don't like to be with I don't like to be I don't like to to be with people I don't feel comfortable uh, comfortable around these people. Almost is I don't like to be with people that who feel or that correct who are that who are I don't that feel that comfortable, comfortable around, around, these around people only around because we already have the people. Oh and, yes, uh, in the okay okay in the beginning of the sentence. Mm -hmm. What about number five? I want to discuss my problems with friends. Who, mm -hmm. who are, are warm, warm and, and sensitive. sensitive. Correct, who are warm and sensitive. Number six, I'd rather have a boss. Who, who has who a good leads. leadership qualities. Correct, qualities. who has good leadership qualities. Excellent. I prefer to have teachers who are, who are organized, organized and, and intelligent. And intelligent. Correct, who are organized and intelligent. Good. So we can see we use how to use it, right? We use it to describe people or give more information about specific people. Okay. Now we're going to learn adjectives to describe people's characteristics. Here we have a lot of different adjectives. Let me give one moment so I can put our group. Okay. Here we have a lot. Let me take a picture and send to the WhatsApp group. All right. Let's see. Hey, Brenda. Pero como que no tiene internet y todo lo demás tiene internet? No sé. But Reynard, you have internet. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem, Reina. Don't worry. You tell her. You have internet. It's okay. No problem. Okay. So. No, no I, have, I have problem with, with like PC. And ah. phone this I can I can connect for the PC, no. Uh, okay, okay. So in this moment you are connected in the in, in the phone. In the, the phone, yes. Okay. Sometimes it happens that it's the internet from the phone is better than the internet from the house. Yes, it's right. It, yeah, I, I see. Yes, yes. Okay. Don't worry. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to listen and learn many descriptions of adjectives. These are the words that we have. The words are easygoing, egotistical, inflexible, modest, sociable, stingy, supportive, temperamental, and unreliable, okay? Now, let's listen and see what we learn. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn adjectives that describe personal characteristics. And you'll listen to an audio program in which you'll identify the adjectives that best describe each individual. Can you hear the audio? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. teacher. So let's get started by learning the adjectives that you see before you. I'll be making this document available so you can have it for reference. Easygoing. An easygoing person is someone who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. Egotistical. An egotistical person is someone who has a very high opinion of himself or herself. Inflexible. An inflexible person is someone who doesn't change easily and is stubborn. Modest. A modest person is someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Sociable. A sociable person is someone who enjoys being with other people. Stingy. A stingy person is someone who doesn't like sharing. Supportive. 
A supportive person is someone who is helpful and encouraging. Temperamental. A temperamental person is someone who has unpredictable or irregular moods. Unreliable. An unreliable person is someone who doesn't do what he <coughs> promised. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to listen to an audio program at this time. And as I mentioned, we need to be familiar with these adjectives in order for us to answer the questions from this audio program. What we're gonna do in this audio program is we're going to listen to a description of Andrea, James, and Mr. Johnson. And then what I would like for you to do is to choose the best statement that describes each individual. So let's listen to that audio program at this time. So have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties, and there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh-huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast. Yeah, he's a great cook, too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, it's nothing, no big deal. Yep, that sounds like James. Have you met the new apartment manager? Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. All right, so we're looking at the three people. What kind of person is Andrea? Temperamental and unreliable. 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 I think it's uh, egotistical and stinky. Okay. Well, let's listen to Andrea one more time. I think we are a little confused, but you're asked. And it's not just with money, but her time is... Really? That would be annoying. It is time, and she always manages to be honest. She's kind of been getting on my time. So, have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Okay. So now that we listen again, what do you think is the best word to describe Andrea? Egotistical and stingy. Correct. Egotistical and stingy. Stingy is 
she selfish. She is selfish. Yes. Egotistical is that she only thinks about herself. And so she is in this moment egotistical and stingy, is not very nice with money or with her time. All right. What about James? What is James? For me, sociable. James, yeah, sociable and easygoing. Easygoing, yeah. Okay. For me too. Okay, very good, very good. Let's listen and check if you want to change opinions. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties, and there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh-huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast. Yeah, he's a great cook, too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, it's nothing, no big deal. Yep, that sounds like James. Mm, so, do you want to change or sociable and easy going? It, yes, it's, it's easy social. Going. Okay, that's right. That's the idea, sociable and easy going. Very good. Somebody that has good relationships. And now the last, Mr. Johnson. What do you think was Mr. Johnson? For me, Mr. Johnson is a temperamental and unreliable. Reliable. Unreliable. Reliable. Sorry, thanks. Yeah. Okay, well, let's listen and check. Have you met the new apartment manager? Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. Okay. What was the last one for Mr. Johnson? I think he was temperamental. Yeah, he's temperamental and unreliable because they never know. Tempera temperamental and uh, unreliable. Unreliable. The pronunciation, one more time temperamental. Temperamental and unreliable. And unreliable. unreliable. Okay. Unreliable. Good. So we have a lot of different descriptions of people that we can use. Let's take a look here. We have with our partners, we are going to try one point seven. We discussed them, right? So let's see one more time. Statement best describes Andrea. Andrea is someone Number two. Is egotistical yes. and stingy. Okay. Yeah. Egotistical and stingy. Okay. What about James? What did we say about James? James is social and easygoing. Number three. Social and easygoing. And Mr. Johnson? <laughs> And unreliable. Perfect. All of those are correct. Excellent. He's copied. A moment. <laughs> All of those are correct, right? Andrea is egotistic. James is sociable. And Mr. James is temperamental. All right. Are there any of those words you didn't understand? Let's take a look to make sure that all of the words are correct. Yeah. Let's go to the beginning. Personal problem. Use the describe. Okay. Now let's practice the pronunciation. Everybody, easy going. Easy going. Easy going. Easy going. 
Inflexible. 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 Modest. 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 With a T at the end. A, a modest. Modest. Good. Sociable. Sociable. Stingy. Stingy. Supportive. Please, what, what, please stingy. Only? Please stingy. Stingy. Someone like sharing. Egoista. Someone, someone who doesn't give. Egoista. No. The person that doesn't like to give. Not the person that thinks about themselves. Okay. Don't so the person like sharing. Is, they don't like to share. They don't like to share. That's a like sharing. Mm -hmm. Sharing, sharing whatever or, or about money. No, no, sharing whatever. The time, the money, the resources, the the credits, anything. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is stingy. Right? Everybody support. Supporting. Supporting. Good. Temperamental. Temperamental. Good. And unreliable. Unreliable. Okay. Excellent. We have all of these words to describe different people. Okay. Good. Can you say it again? Here. Which again? Yeah. Yes. 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 Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. No problem, no problem. Personal characteristics. You will listen to an audio program in which... Oh. One more time. Please listen. Yeah. Easy going. Easy going. Easy going. Easy going. Good. Easy going. Egotistical. 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 Inflexible. Inflexible. Modest. 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 Sociable. Sociable. Stingy. 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 Supportive. 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 Temperamental. Temperamental. Good. Temperamental. Temperamental. Good. Okay. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. All right, good. So now what are we going to talk about? Well, we did our knowledge check, and now we're going to talk about our best friend. Here it says 1.8 writing. In this moment, we are not going to write. In this moment, we are going to describe your best friend, and you're going to talk about him and say using these adjectives and other adjectives. So what are different adjectives you use to describe people? What are other, what are more adjectives to describe people? Generous. Jacqueline? Loyally. Loyal, loyal. Loyal. Funny. Funny, Elizabeth. Generous. 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 Friendly. Friendly. <laughs> Roxana. Yeah, friendly. Friendly. Only what did you say? It's funny. Funny. I thought that it was Elizabeth. Uh, divertido. Yes, yes. Uh, no, funny no, is not divertido. No. Funny no. is the person that tells the jokes. Like ah, okay. Pepito, ta ta ta. Ah, the person is funny. Okay. Pepito is only fun. Only fun. Fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fun. Good. Okay. All right. So we have the ideas. We are going to tell our partners what our best friend is like and give examples. For example, it's generous. My best friend Dorio is very generous. Generous. Because he likes to give presents to his friends. For example, Dorio gave me an iPhone, a, a new iPhone for as a present. And he, yes, 
Yes. An iPhone. He gave me a new iPhone for generous. Yes. Very generous. Thanks, please. <laughs> Yes. Ah, so. el iPhone 12. Uh -huh. 12. Ah, the old one, but yes. So yeah. I want uh -huh. I want uh -huh. um, best friends. Yes. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> yes. So oh, the, same, the same with your partner. With your partner, you are going to describe your best friend and explain why. Why your best friend is this why is generous why is funny why is ego is comprehensive okay yes all right monica and raymar you stay here and you practice here let me listen okay. Okay, so Monica, you explain your best friend, Ray. Okay. You explain. Good evening. Good evening, Rainer. Good evening. Uh, well, my best friend is a kindness person because she has a. Uh, uh, she has she has a um, person who. You try to, to talking about uh, anything for any uh, talking for the uh, 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 wait a minute um for a uh, use of topics. Um, a personal topics and uh, problems or, or personal problems um, for the family, for my family, for, for my uh, uh, mother, my father. And she has a, a to give me a um, consejo. What what do you say, consejo? Device for the uh, amount for the device for me and my my life um my job and uh, a little moment for for all the time. Okay. And you, Rainer? Uh, good evening, my name is Rainer Osorio. I think in this part of my life, I think my best friend is my wife. And I think she's liable. She's a funny person. We understand in, in so much things. And thanks God. We are uh, a common couple. Yes, uh, we have so much things in common, and we pass very good time together in family. I think. Okay. It's, it's excellent <laughs> because. Uh, Mm. All the people, all, 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 all the mm. husband and wife, and looking for or search for a, 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 a the best couple for her for our life, and you can find you. Yeah, I, I, in my. A teenage age, uh, I, I have a few good friends, very friends. Uh, they are now in the USA. Uh, we are only uh, contact about Messenger or WhatsApp. But uh, in, our, in the college, uh, 
we make very good friendship. I think uh, uh, the loyalty is, is the most important and a few things about sports. Uh, and we like sport basketball, we like sport football too. And we too, we were, we, we was very good players. And I think maybe that the reason why uh, at the end of the of the day uh, uh, we we were we was we was we were we were, we were very good friends. Uh, he was a, a, a funny person. He was a, she she. A, no, no, it's a, a good friend in, in my young age. Ah, okay, not your wife, not your wife. Not your wife, he's another, another. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. and, and these people is a very, very um, interesting. Uh, we, we made very thing, very crazy, crazy things together, you know? but always, together no um he never let me down and i never let uh, he down i think maybe this 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 reason okay very good very good okay monica and Rainer. thanks yes so, as you can see, is when you are describing someone, the, the idea is not only describe. For example, not only Oli is nice, Roxana is funny, Elena is kind, but also to give the example. Because when I have a problem, Oli can help, Oli helps me, right? Roxana is funny, because when I am sad, she makes me laugh, okay? The, this is the important when you give a description. It's the same when I say, Edwin, tell me about yourself. No. I, I like food, I, no, but describe your personality. This is the vocabulary we can use to describe the personalities. It's okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. So as we can see, Today, we advance and we practice many things. We finish in 1.8. 1.8 is writing about a best friend. So for homework, here, now that we practice, you have the opportunity to write about your best friend, he or she, and why they are your best friend. How are they? Their personality, not only physical, but the personalities, okay? Okay. okay, guys, thank you so much for coming. I know it's difficult after working and a long day. So thank you very much. I appreciate you being here. And I see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Bye bye. 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 bye.